I am back. Oh my goodness, I feel like I have not uploaded a video in forever. And honestly, I miss editing and uploading videos. But I am back, for those who do not know, I am back from Ethiopia. And first off, I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. And I thank you for all my returning subscribers. Because when I left, I feel like I was just hitting 100 subscribers. And now we're at like 213 or 218 or something like that. And I'm just like oh snaps so i'm really excited for that basically i'm just going to try and update you guys on what's been going on and how my past four months in ethiopia was but first we're going to do that intro because i worked i worked hard for that intro <laughs> go And there she goes again, the dopest Ethiopian And now the world around me is moving in slow motion when ever she For those of you guys who don't know, I just spent these past four months in Ethiopia I was in Debreze, Ethiopia And I just got back like literally like a day before Thanksgiving I know I'm just not uploading But it's been... It was like a really, really amazing experience. Honestly, this is my third time going to Ethiopia and I wanna say this has been my most impactful experience. Like, it was just amazing. It was right on time. It was all I needed. Like, um, basically I'm trying to start a program in Denver Eight where I will be helping women come out of prostitution and I also wanna start a children's program there where I'm helping those children and other street children. I want to give them like a, sp a safe space where they can come and have at least one meal after school and they can get help with their homework. And then they can also be advised on, you know, like what well, their parents can be advised on, you know, how to transition into a better lifestyle or um, help with like finding employment or spiritual counseling and all, just all of that. Basically, I really just wanted to focus on women and children at this point. Um, I think I wanna launch the actual program for it to start January. I'm gonna start fundraising and like building awareness on what we're trying to start. Um, right now, we're just helping a couple families um, Bedeket and Emma Bates is one and Salam and Mechidus and you guys can you know you guys can read more about them on my website at dearethiopia.org so I want to plug in my handles follow me at it's Ethiopian. oh my god it feels so good to say that it's Ethiopian on Instagram and on Tumblr and Snapchat at Camille Jael but definitely check out DearEthiopia.org. That's where I'm going to be uploading as well. Also, we'll have like a Dear Ethiopia YouTube, which will be like more of a professional thing. Um, I did a vlog there. I didn't really get to record that many videos, but I vlogged there. I actually got to run a restaurant where I was serving Buna all day. And now I can legit say, after I need more practice, but my, my boon now, that day, that day, I don't know about now, but that day it was fire. It was fire. So hands down, it was amazing. But it was definitely a really great, amazing experience. And it's definitely something I feel like that I needed because I want to go to law school. Um, that is my dream. My dream is to become a judge. And then, you know, dealing with all of that in my undergrad, um, I just needed that mental break and for I actually intended to go for like three months and then I ended up extending my trip because it was what I needed. I never cried so much in the four months. I've never, you know, it was just a very healing, a very healing experience. And I got to learn how to cook. My injetta is fire. I brought back some berbere, some buna. So, you know, hook me back, some shy even like you know, come on over. You guys are all welcome for a cup of coffee. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm going to do more videos kind of detailing what happened and my experiences. I'll also be uploading probably a couple story times. Um, and actually before I left, when I say like four or five people, literally my last two or three days I have ran into randomly. They were telling me they were watching my old story times about like my crazy roommate, which will be linked down below. Um... 
and they were waiting for part three and honestly i didn't really feel like anybody really watched it all like that like it got a, a few views but no one in my circle or no one um who i was in contact with really said anything really about it so it was just like okay i'm just you know i'm just uploading and this is how I am going to, I feel like I can express myself and I feel like other people who may be dealing with something similar or someone else who has the potential to avoid the situation, they can watch that and relate to it. But when I ran into all those people, they're like, where's part three, where's part three? All right, part three is coming. I think that's what I'm gonna record next. Um, and then when I came back, I ran into a couple other people who were asking me like, where's part three to the video? I'm like, okay, so I guess I'm being watched, hey. <laughs> No, but seriously, I had an amazing time in Ethiopia. It gave me a break. Like, it gave me what I needed to deal with that roommate and among other things that I was dealing with. And now I am back and I'm better, you know? I actually feel like I'm ready to be studying for the LSAT. I had so much anxiety. Before I continue to ramble, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this video short because I just got so much to talk about. I missed you guys. Like, where you guys been? Nah. But again, thank you all for my returning subscribers and thank you all for my new subscribers and thank you for those who did not unsubscribe because I haven't posted in like four months. Um, but I love you and I don't think I came up with an outro. So, it's gonna be awkward. Bye! <laughs>